Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Pro Wrestling Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram, coming at you here once again on the U to the Two. So, we're going to talk Stardom Five Star Grand Prix, the final standings, and also discuss uh, two upcoming events in World Wonder Ring Stardom. So, just finished watching the pay-per-view, and I gotta give a shout-out to uh, Mina Shirakawa. Did a pretty good job on, on English commentary. It was actually good to see her um, very talkative and really, really into each of the matches that she was on commentary for. So, it was really good to see that. So, hopefully, can see more of Mina Shirakawa on English commentary in the future. You know, she speaks she speaks good English. Definitely speaks good English. But let's get into the final tally, the final results of the Five Star Grand Prix 2021. So our final standings, starting with the Red Stars. Saki Kashima finishes last with four points. She finished with a record of two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. two and seven. So she finished, she finishes with a two and seven record. All right. Mina Shirakawa and Julia both tied at six points. So Mina Shirakawa finished with a three with a three and six record so she finished with a three and six record and julia as well finished with a three and six record uh actually actually let me let me start over right quick saki kashima the her matches she she got her two wins over julia and mayu iwatani but lost to Momo Watanabe, Fuki Ken Dev, Starlight Kid, Himeka, Natsupoi, Koguma, and Mina Shirakawa. Mina Shirakawa, she defeated Fuki Ken Dev, Saki Kashima, and Natsupoi. Lost to Julia, Mayu Iwatani, Momo Watanabe, Starlight Kid, Himeka, and Koguma. Julia, Julia competed in five matches um she won against starlight kid koguma and mina shirakawa lost to saki kashima and mayu iwatani and her remaining four matches uh momo watanabe fukiken death hameka natsupoi she had to forfeit due to injury so those opponents got by points okay Natsupoi finished with nine points. Natsupoi finished with a record of one, two, of four, 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 and one. So she finished with four, four, and one. So she got victories over um, the buy points from Julia. She got victories over Momo Watanabe, Fuki Ken Def, Saki Kashima. She lost to Mina Shirakawa, Koguma, Himeka, and Mayu Iwatani. And she had a draw with Starlight Kid. Fuki Ken Def and Himeka both finished with 10 points in the Red Stars. Fuki Ken Def finished with a record of, let's see. A five and four. So she finished with a record of five and four. She has the bye over Julia <clears throat> and victories over Mayu Iwatani, Saki Kashima, Himeka, and Koguma. But she lost to Momo Watanabe, Starlight Kid, Natsupoi, and Mina Shirakawa. Himeka, the Jumbo Princess, she finished with a record of. Five and four. 
So she had the bye over Julia, and she also defeated Momo Watanabe, Saki Kashima, Natsupoi, and Mina Shirakawa, but lost to Mayu Iwatani, Fuki Ken Def, Starlight Kid, and Koguma. We have a three way tie of 11 points Starlight Kid, Koguma, and Mayu Iwatani. So these three ladies finish with 11 points. Still pretty strong finishes. So let's look at Starlight Kid. Starlight Kid came very, very close. She came very close. Um, Starlight Kid finished with a record of five, five, three, and one. So she won matches against Momo Watanabe, Fuki Ken Def, Saki Kashima, Himeka, and Mina Shirakawa. She lost to Julia, Mayu Iwatani, and Koguma, and she had the draw at Natsupoi. So, still a pretty, pretty decent record, strong finish. Koguma. Koguma, let's see, she also finished with a 5-3-1. She got victories over Mina Shirakawa, Natsupoi, Himeka, Starlight Kid, Saki Kashima. She lost to Fuki Ken Def, Momo Watanabe, and Julia, and she had the draw with Mayu Iwatani. So Koguma had a had a pretty strong five star Grand Prix. And then we had the icon of stardom, Mayu Iwatani, also had eleven points. She finished with a record of five, three, and one as well. She got victories over Mina Shirakawa, Natsupoi, Himeka, Starlight Kid, and Julia. She lost to Momo Watanabe, Fuki Ken Def, and Saki Kashima, and she had the draw with Koguma. And the winner of the Red Stars, advancing to the finals for the Red Stars, was Momo Watanabe with 12 points. Momo Watanabe finished... Let's see, her record. She finished with a record of six and three. So Momo with a strong finish to take her into the finals of the Reds of the Five Star Grand Prix. She had the buy points over Julia. She also defeated Mayu Iwatani, Fuki Ken Def, Saki Kashima, Koguma, and Mina Shirakawa. She lost to Starlight Kid, Himeka, and Natsupoi. So, Momo Watanabe advances to the finals from the Red Stars. All right, let's go to the Blue Stars. Okay. Unfortunately, Roka at the bottom. Uh, finish with a record of of zero and uh zero and nine. Ugh. Oh, poor, poor Ruka. No points, and and she lost all her matches, which were she lost to Shuri, Tommy Hayashishita, Tam Nakano. Saya Kamitani, Mika, Azumi, Konami, um, Unagi Sayaka, Takumi Aroha. So, yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. And then Azumi with eight points. Azumi kind of had a late surge in this tournament, but just was too little too late. So Azumi. She finished with a record of four, four and five. She got wins over, she beat Shuri, she beat Konami, she beat Roka, and she beat Takumi Aroha. So those were some big wins. But lost to Utami Hayashishita, Tam Nakano, Sayaka Matani, Maika, and Unagi Sayaka. We had a two-way tie at nine points with Unagi Sayaka and Micah. <clears throat> Let's see. Unagi Sayaka 
finished with a record of let's see four four and one yeah finished with a record of four four and one she got victories over let's see she's beaten Tom Nakano, Sayakamatani, Azumi, and Ruka. She's lost to Utami Hayashishita, Shuri, Konami, and Takumi Aroha, and she had the draw with Micah. And then looking at Micah, who also had the same record as well, 4-4-1. Four, four, and one. Of course, we know she had the draw with Unagi Sayaka. She had victories over Utami Hayashishita, Azumi, Konami, and Roka, but she lost to Shuri, Tom Nakano, Sayakamitani, and Takumi Aroha. All right, we have a three-way tie uh, with 10 points, Tom Nakano, Utami Hayashishita, and Konami. All right, let's look at Tom Nakano. She ended up finishing with a record of... Five and four. Five and four. So she got victories over Utami Hayashishita, Maika, Azumi, Konami, and Roka. She lost to Shuri, Sayakamitani, Nagi Sayaka, and Takumi Aroha. Let's see. Utami Hayashishita, she finished with a four four and no four wait a minute one two three four four three and two interesting so she finished with a record of four three and two so she had two draws so she got wins over sayaka matani azumi roka and unagi sayaka She's lost to uh, Tam Nakano, Micah, Konami, and she has two draws with both Shuri and Takumi Aroha. And then Konami, let's see, Konami, where are you at? Here you are. Konami finished five and four. So Konami had victories over Utami Hayashishita, Shuri, Ruoka, Unagi Sayaka, and Takumi Aroha. So she got some big wins. But she lost to Azumi, Maika, Sayakamitani, and Tom Nakano. And then tied with 11 points is Takumi Aroha and Sayakamitani. So Takumi Aroha from the marvelous Women's Pro Wrestling promotion. She finish with a record of four four two and three she had three draws that was crazy but yeah four two and three so she defeated let's see she beat Tom Nakano Micah Ruka and Unagi Sayaka she lost to Konami and Azumi, and she had three draws. A draw with Utami Hayashishita, Shuri, and Saya Kamatani. Dang, that's a lot of draws. And then Saya Kamatani, she finished with a record of 5-3-1. and one. She had victories over Tam Nakano, Micah, Azumi, Konami, and Ruoka. She lost to Utami Hayashishita, Shuri, and Unagi Sayaka, and had the one draw with Takumi Aroha. And then advancing to the finals, winning the Blue Stars, is Shuri with 12 points. So she went into the finals with a record of 5-2-2. So she had victories over Tam Nakano, Sayaka Matani, Micah, 
Ruaka and Unagi Sayaka. She lost to Azumi and Konami, and she had tie. She had draws with um, Utami Hayashishita and Takumi Aroha. But with her having, having twelve points, she advanced to the finals of the Five Star Grand Prix. So it came down to Momo Watanabe versus Shuri and Shuri. Hard, hard fought match. Shuri is your 2021 five star Grand Prix winner. That's right. She defeated Momo Watanabe. It was a great match. Really great match. I mean, the final matches they had on this on this card were, were excellent. So that means so going forward there's a couple of events so first what was announced was of course surety is going to challenge for utami hayashishita's world of stardom championship the red belt but there are two events that were announced number one we have the stardom 10th anniversary grand final osaka dream cinderella that will be taking place at the Osaka Joe Hall in Osaka, Japan, on October the 9th, which is on a um, which is on a Saturday. Yes, on a Saturday. I forgot because the 10th is when I go to the Panthers Eagles game. So this event um, got a couple of title matches for this event, um, and as a matter of fact, Hazuki will be making her return, and her return match will be against Koguma. So we got that to look forward to. Um, Unagi Sayaka will be defending the future of Stardom Championship against Oedo Tai's Ruaka. Uh, Starlight Kid will be defending the High Speed Championship against fellow Oedo Tai stablemate Fukigen Death. Tom Nakano, at the end of the Five Star Grand Prix, um, called out Mayu Iwatani to be her next challenger for the wonder of stardom championship and they're gonna have that match and word is i don't know if this has been confirmed but word is that shirty will actually be defending the swa championship at this event against konami so that should be interesting uh, i hope that's confirmed and then takumi aroha came in at the end of this event and wanted to challenge uh, Utami Hayashishita for a shot at the Red Belt at this event. So Takumi Roha will get her title shot at the Stardom 10th Anniversary Grand Final Osaka Dream Cinderella. So she gets her shot at Utami for the Red Belt. <clears throat> Shirty will get her earned Wonder World of Stardom Championship match at the... December 29th, Stardom Dream Queendom, which will be at the Ryogoku Sumo Hall. So that is when she will get her title shot. Now, of course, we know last time Shirty and Utami fought for the title, it ended in a draw. So hopefully there will be a definitive winner out of this. They need to go ahead and book this um, for no time limit. They need to book this for no time limit. Which they still got time to do that. But this needs to be a no time limit championship match. And I say while while they're at it, they might as well go ahead and have Shirty drop the SWA title to Konami. Might as well. Might as well. So. I personally. I personally feel like. Shirty is going to is going to dethrone Utami. I don't know of anybody else that would be right for dethroning Utami other than Shuri. That's the only person that I could see. And I think she would have, I think she will be a great World of Stardom champion. But a lot to look forward to. Definitely a lot to look forward to. Two big events, one coming up in, in two weeks. And then Stardom, uh, Stardom Dream Queendom, uh, December 29th. So right, right, pretty much dead at the end of the year. So that should be good. Should be really good. But congratulations to Shirty 
on winning this year's five star Grand Prix. And once again, she's going to get her opportunity to compete for the red belt and face Utami Hayashishi. Well, then again, it could be it could be Takumi Aroha, which I don't think she'll win, but it'll be a great match. Should be a great match. But either way, Shirty will await the winner December 29th. But another great five-star Grand Prix in the books. And I'm just looking forward to seeing uh, the upcoming title matches. Um, should be good. Should be really good. But anyway, that's all that I have. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about uh, this year's five-star Grand Prix. What did you think of the tournament in general? Um, did you pick Shirty to win or did you pick somebody else to win? Um what disappointed you the most? Um, what did you think about the matches? Um, who do you think is going to go forward and uh, become new champions? You think Shirty will do it? Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram signing off for this edition of Pro Wrestling Talk. And I will catch y'all later um, after Extreme Rules. Take care. God bless.